I remember I was on a business trip in Australia. We were meeting with a bank there and we were looking for financing. I was at a startup company at the time. And it was about one of the most awkward meetings I'd ever been in. They clearly didn't want to be meeting with us. Didn't matter that we'd flown halfway around the world. And then I looked across from me and noticed that the guy that I was talking to at the bank had a Speedmaster on. I immediately said which reference it was. And he looked at me and said, yes it is. And I said, well I have, and I showed him mine. And immediately the meeting completely changed. If I had uh, a dollar for every time I connected with somebody over a Speedmaster, I'd have a few dollars, and I don't think I'd have those dollars if I was thinking about it through the lens of other watches. This is a, the Caliber 321. The watch is in really great condition, largely because it was never worn. This watch was given to me by someone very special. There's a couple that I met when I was in med school that sort of took me in as like a, their, their own kid and they look after me and I spent every holiday with them and stuff like that. And about two years ago they were out visiting us. Vincent, who's the guy who I kind of jokingly call my stepdad, he came downstairs with this watch in his hand. And uh, he said, hey, I want you to have this. And I, I looked at it and I said, do you, do you know what this is? And I, because I of course immediately recognized it for what it was. And he said, he goes, you know, I, I know it's a nice watch. It was given to me my, for my high school graduation in 1969. I never wore it. I know you love watches and I figure if I should give it to anybody, it should be you. And then there's just other little nuances to it that just make it so beautiful to me. Of course, the Omega logo is applied and not painted. The shapes of the hands are subtle. There's a raised surface for the hour markers, and of course, the spacing of the T on the either side of Swiss made, whether it's touching or not touching. They're beautiful watches, but they're also incredibly practical. As old school as it sounds, you know, when you're checking a patient's pulse, you're generally doing it on your own watch. So this is a very easy watch to measure somebody's pulse on because you can really clearly see it. I mean, and that's sort of, I think, why it just appealed to me at the outset, which was this was the most readable watch I'd ever seen, and it still is to this day. I mean, it's a really special watch. If you were only allowed to have three watches, you could never sell them, these were the only three watches you're ever going to wear the rest of your life, what would they be? I think the most common answer you're going to hear is a Speedmaster. There's something to be said for the appreciation people have for this watch.